Hey everybody, it's Jay. I'm um, just hanging out here in my apartment. Um, getting ready to go to Henry Hag Lake on Monday morning, uh, the day after Easter. And, um, every time before I go out fishing, I bring in all my equipment for the most part. Um, all my tackle, I should say. And I had a huge tackle box, a couple big ones with some stuff I've been saving over uh, the past 10 years or whatever. And um, I like to go through it every time I go out and see what works, see what doesn't work. And uh, I like to bring this bag out with me on my kayak, whenever, wherever I go, really. And this has everything in it that I need uh, for that specific day. So I'm not lugging around a ton of stuff that I don't necessarily need. Uh, it takes up a lot of space. It's heavy. So um, there are times when you might be like, oh man, I really wish I brought that or this. But uh, before I go on my trips, I like to bring this bag and uh, go through my big bag and get everything in here that I think I'll need. So um, there are some things that constantly stay in this bag. Um, but there's something that like interchange in and out, um, different lures, different color worms, um, whatever. So I'm going to go through it. I think it'd be kind of fun to go through my bag and show you what I've got. So on this far pocket over here, I've got just some line. Um, it's not like you're going to change your line necessarily. You might never have to. Um, when you're out in the water at least, but you never know, you might get tangled up, you might have a lot of line out, something might happen where you need to put some line on your rod and reel and it's just nice to have. So it doesn't take up a lot of space, it's super light and it stays in there and you just never know when, you know, you could have forgot to change out your line for a couple of years and next thing you know your line's breaking or whatever, either way, it's there. Um, this pocket right here, I've just got a bunch of worms in it. You know, I love the wacky style worms. Um, I like to fish them wacky style. I just love the way that the fish takes it and runs with it. And you can really feel that. Um, I felt comfortable with that. I fished like that for a long time. So, um, I've always got a lot of different kinds of worms and different color worms in my bag. So, here specifically, um, these are... Gary Yamamoto's um, baby bass color, so these are kind of cool, green and whatnot. Got dark green ones. Um, I got a bunch of these field and stream ones recently from Dix. They had a huge uh, sale. I think they were like a dollar a pack. So when you get them for a dollar pack, you, you buy a lot of them. I bought a lot of them. <laughs> they're expensive nowadays. I think they're about seven dollars a pack for for these ones. But this pack of purple. So it's got a whole bunch of different ones in here. And same on that side. You go through a lot of those when you're out in the water. If you're gonna go out for the day I'd probably bring at least three with you. Um this middle pocket right here we got this cool tool. What this does is it helps you take the line off uh, the the reel when you're changing out lines and also it has this little sander up top here so you can sand down your hook make sure it's nice and sharp. Got my pliers, don't ever go out in the water without your pliers. Scissors, a lot of people don't necessarily think about scissors. You can use scissors or a lighter but the scissors um, work good. Don't make the silly mistake of putting these in your waders or somewhere where you need to keep waterproof. I won't tell you what I did with that. Um, for Paula, so I'm going to be running this in Henry Hag. Frogs. I bought these a long time ago. I was, when I was fishing on the East Coast, fishing on lakes that have a lot of lily pads and weeds, uh, fishing pike, pickerel, and whatnot. Uh, these are awesome running across those lily pads or through those beads. So these are some plastic frogs I got. These ones were from Bass Pro Shops. So um, I don't have any of those near me. Our closest store is Cabela's, but 
custom tree you can find there as well. Got the grit, and it also has a place where I can check the weight of the fish. Sunglasses, don't forget to have these with you. Um, you wouldn't believe how important these and sunscreen air are when you're out in the water. Um, I always have my sunglasses, my chapstick, um, my suntan lotion. So make sure you have all that stuff on. Be sure you're protecting your skin. You'll be out there a long time and not notice it, and you will be hurting for a couple days if you don't wear it. Uh, trout bait. I'll be fishing primarily for bass coming up, the smallmouth, largemouth. I think there's a couple uh, state records out of Henry Hag Lake, so I'm looking forward to hooking on one of those. But it also has a ton of trout in there, so just in case, I've brought some power bait, trout bait. The green and the yellow works really good. Uh, I use those two at Clear Lake, um, Olali Lake. That, that's a great color. It's really worked everywhere I've gone. Fishing license, make sure you get that from whatever state you're at. Depends all different prices. Bobber, so I've got three different size bobbers in here with this just a little one for the trout, and I've got some bigger ones. Um, I've got this. This is for the trout or salmon or whatever. So I just keep that stuff in there. You never know. You might really be throwing out and something pops up or something happens. And you're like, oh, why didn't I bring that? So um, I don't bring a lot of that different kind of bait, like the trout bait. I, if I was going out specifically for them, I'd probably have three of these things, but I'm not. So. All right. Front bag here, we've got a rattling jig, Bass Pro Shop rattling rig, so, or jig, excuse me, that should work. And I've got some other jigs in here, and another roller collar that I'm going to use here, and some different kinds of jigs, so I'm looking forward to using those. Bug repellent, another huge one when you're out on the water, especially in the summertime when they're uh, sitting in the water and they're biting up your feet or whatever. So make sure that you bring some of that with you. Be careful, you don't want it to leak through. I've got all different kinds of hooks here. Uh, size 4 0, 2, 1, 5. So these are all weedless hooks, and I just really like using weedless hooks. So um, the problem with them is the little metal part that latches on to the hook at the end, um, they fall off pretty frequently. So it may seem like overkill having four different packages, but in all reality, um, it's not that. I'm losing the hooks, it's just that that metal wire is coming off, so I'll keep a lot of those in here in case. And that was that bag. Same over here, I have my worms. And in this bag, little pocket, I have a glove. So you never know when you might need it. If you need to rip some line or um, if you're not really that comfortable handling certain kinds of fish. Uh, whatever the reason is, I always bring that glove. So I think that's it. This one has a bunch of worms in it as well. Ooh, my bright, bright yellow one. So that really fun. Actually, one more thing is my bear bug. I really did well with these. Normally at night time when the sun was going down on the top of the water in some east coast lakes. Um, I love when the fish hits these, I just love the way that it sounds across the water. Um, I always have a lot of luck with it, so I haven't here necessarily yet. I did have a little bit of luck with one of those frogs that I showed you earlier, um, this past summer, but I don't know. So, I guess the, one of the boys clubs in Oregon did some warm water species structure 
things they built for the bottom of Henry Hag Lake. So I think that I saw them last week when I went to scout out the area, and I think that they dropped them. So I'm looking forward to finding them, finding them with my fish finder, marking them down, seeing where they are, and hitting them with some of those jigs, some of those lures coming across there. Um, probably hit up the coves, and there I'll use my wacky worm and try to go through the weed bed. So hopefully the sun's coming out and it's getting warmer out. So I'm really looking forward to putting up some more fishing videos online. Uh, if I don't put something up, it probably means I didn't catch anything. I really don't want to waste your time uh, with a video where I don't catch anything. But hopefully I can show you a couple pictures of some monsters. So. Thanks for watching again, and I'll talk to you later.